Oh yes, hello wonderful viewers. As always, it's me, your boy Nathan Matov here at Kisra Projects. Remember, we are a home for entrepreneurs where no one can be too young to own a company. We are located in Komamboga, Okumukaga, along Gaza Road, and also open for business Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. You need to talk to us. Our contacts are plus 256-752-49219 or plus 256-779-5934. Five two or plus two five six seven zero two seven five six one zero seven. Today I'm here to give you a brief explanation on how you can manufacture soap at a factory scale of production. For all those people interested in manufacturing soap on an industrial level, choose Kisa Projects. However, for all those who want to manufacture soap using the one-step saponification for commercial benefits, we advise you to choose Kisa Projects, but Enroll with us with the k Soap Production Kit. The k Soap Production Kit goes at 5 Ghana shillings, 50 million. But once you purchase that kit, we are entitled to give you training that will last for 50 days. And in the course of training, we shall manufacture with you 20 bars of soap, each bar weighing 1 kilogram. But still, we shall give you more other raw material, the worst production of more other 20 kilograms of soap that we will use while at home immediately after the training session. The k Soap Production Kit comes with all devices, all tools, and equipments and raw material needed for you to start soap production at full throttle commercial using the one-step saponification. However, in this tutorial today, I'm here for those people who intend to manufacture soap on a factory scale of production. Still, you must choose Kisa projects. In our previous explanation, we are always talking about manufacturing soap using the one-step saponification, which is commonly used by those for manufacturing soap on a small scale production rate. The big dons I'm here for you. If you're manufacturing soap on a factory scale of production, we use the continuous hydrolyzer process or we use the two-step saponification. Now, the continuous hydrolyzer process begins with natural fat that is split into fatty acids and glycine by means of water at high temperature and pressure in the presence of a catalyst, which is zinc soap. Now, zinc soap can also be called zinc starlet, or we can say zinc starlet is zinc soap, and this is usually used industrially. In this context, soap is used in its formal sense, a metal salt of fatty acids. In this sense, static acid. It is a white solid powder that repels water. I want you to understand these details very well. I'm going to give you explanation bit by bit such that if you're interested in manufacturing soap at a factory scale of production, you choose Kisa projects, but you come knowing what you are going to be training with us. Remember, we are still explaining the continuous hydrolyzer process. Zinc started is zinc soap, always used industrially. In this context, soap is used in its formal sense, a metal salt of fatty acid. In this sense, static acid. It is a solid powder that repels water. However, it is insoluble in polar solvents such as alcohol and ether, but soluble in aromatic hydrocarbons such as benzene and chlorinated hydrocarbons when heated. Are we together? This information is for those who are intending to manufacture soap at an industrial level of production or at factory scale of production. And we have said that we will be manufacturing soap using the continuous hydrolyzer process. And I have said that the continuous hydrolyzer process begins with natural fat that has a split into fatty acid and glycine by means of water at high temperature and pressure in presence of a catalyst, which is zinc soap. So um, I have been briefly explaining about the zinc soap. Zinc soap is the most powerful moderate agent among all metal soaps. It contains no electrolyte and has got a hydrophobic effect. Let's go back to explaining the continuous hydrolyzer process. The continuous hydrolyzer process begins with natural fat that is split into fatty acids and glycine by means of water at high temperature and pressure in the presence of a catalyst, which is zinc soap. I've already explained what's meant by the term zinc soap. The splitting reaction is carried on continuously, usually in a vertical column of 50 feet or 15 meters in height or even longer. So the column should be at least 50 feet. 50 feet is the same as 15 meter. This implies that, or this means that 
per fili and a half feet will make for you one meter. So for those people who don't have a type measure, you just count your feet. Feet be a bigere bio. Gate be gere bio chimu, bibidi, bisatu, or manuchi chike, or quite get chich tundu. I will end up with a meter a mu. So repeat the same trend for another 15 times. So that is the vertical column that you need if at all you are going to manufacture soap using the continuous hydrolyzer process. I repeat, the splitting reaction is continuously carried on in a vertical column which is 50 feet or 15 meter in height or even longer. Now what happens, make, what, now what happens next? Next, molten soap and water is then introduced into the opposite end of the column. Molten soap and water is introduced into the opposite end of the column. Then fatty acids and glycine will be simultaneously withdrawn. Are we together? Then fatty acids and glycine will be simultaneously withdrawn. It's, di it's different from the soap manufactured using the one-step saponification whereby we just use triglycerides and we treat them using a strong base. This time, things are different. Now, what are we going to do next? Now, the fatty acids are going to be distilled under a vacuum to effect purification. The fatty acids will be then distilled under a vacuum to effect purification. They are then neutralized using a strong alkaline solution, usually sodium hydroxide to yield neat soap. For today, I think let me stop here. I'll come back with part two. I remain your bonus and of here at Kisa Projects. Need to start the soap production for commercial benefits. Simply choose Kisa Projects. For those people interested in two hour science behind quite around the soap production, we charge 250,000 Ugandan shillings and that cost us for only four hours a single day. However, in the course of training, you practically shall manufacture with you only one bar of soap weighing one kilogram. For those who are interested in two hour commercial soap production training, we charge 658,000. The training lasts for 50 days. And in the course of training, you shall manufacture with you 20 bars of soap, each bar weighing one kilogram, and those bars will be owned by you at the end of the training session. Those interested in two hour K-Pad soap production kit, you simply pay Uganda shillings, 50 million. We train you and we give you all the equipment and tools needed for you to start soap production at full throttle. The training will last for 50 days and the cost of training shall manufacture with you still 20 bars of soap, each bar weighing one kilogram, but still shall keep you with more other raw materials worth production of more other 20 bars of soap, each bar one kilogram, and we shall give you all the devices or tools necessary for you to start soap production at full throttle. The training package includes both theory and application, product standardization, quality control and assurance, raw material acquisition, um, pricing and costing, branding and packaging, and practicals which are mandatory. We are always open for business Monday to Saturday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. We have been in this business since 2016. We are a registered and licensed company. We are located in Komamboga Okumokaga along Gaza Road. Our role is to deliver but not to sell.